one, and two, and three, four, five. Man, I love working out. Where did we get this energy from? Through aerobic respiration. There are three stages to aerobic respiration. The Krebs cycle. The electron transport chain. And the breakdown of the chemiosmotic gradient. This all occurs in the mitochondrion. Through the process of glycolysis, our bodies are constantly breaking down glucose. The substrate created is pyruvate, and this is what begins the Krebs cycle. The Krebs cycle begins when the pyruvate moves from the cell cytoplasm into the inner matrix of the mitochondrion. With the help of enzymes, pyruvate is partially broken down. The two products are NADH and FADH2, which are highly reduced molecules. The byproducts are a lot of CO2 and a little ATP. Krebs. Cycle. Krebs. Cycle. Krebs. Cycle. Since the products NADH and FADH2 are highly reduced oxidized molecules, this means they are very willing to give up their electrons to the nearest cytochrome along the electron transport chain. By gaining an electron, the cytochrome becomes reduced. It becomes excited and begins to pump protons into the intermembrane space. The electron is then passed to the next cytochrome along the electron transport chain, and the pumping of protons is repeated. Electron transport chain, uh, electron transport chain, uh. Due to the excessive production of protons, the intermembrane space becomes acidic while the inner matrix remains neutral. Acidic. Neutral. Acidic. Neutral. Acidic. As the electron is being passed down from the cytochromes, eventually no more cytochromes remain. Oxygen plays a role as the terminal electron receptor. When the inner membrane reaches a pH of 5, the ATP synthase opens up a tube allowing for passive transport of protons into the inner matrix. The force of protons rushing through ATP synthase creates the energy to phosphorylate ADP into ATP, which is known as oxidative phosphorylation. So, through the process of aerobic respiration, our body creates ATP, which is energy. Woo! That was a lot of information. I'm really happy to know how my body makes energy. All this energy producing is making me hungry. Can I have a piece? Quick! Someone call 911! She's choking! I only know how to give the Heimlich to animals! Because Erica was choking, she had a lack of oxygen available to her body. The cytochromes had nowhere to pass on the extra electron, causing a backup along the electron transport chain. Even with the lack of oxygen, glycolysis is still producing pyruvate, and when built up, is lethal to the body. Man, if I only knew the Heimlich for humans, I could have saved her.